I had to cut it 45 degrees, now I need to cut it 27.5. Oh, it hurts. Initiating. Welcome back to my daily grind. Create yourself is what you'll find me doing every day and every night. No time to lose. One day, one step in the right direction. I'm Chris and I'm only here to show you if I can do it, you can do it too. Welcome back to the vlog. It is Saturday, another day, hey, another chance to push out. And the topic for this vlog is finally getting to them freaking cable canals. So let's get it. By the way, all home improvement vlogs right here. Watch them all. But before we get started, love goes out to all my subscribers. Thank you for making my love special and worth living to the max. So let me try to give back with a sweet, sweet video. In my last vlog, you can check it out right here. I wall mounted my guitar, my new guitar. And I told the story on how I got it, how I acquired it and why it's so special to me. It's beautiful. That's why it's special. But yeah. I'm still not done with these freaking cable canals right there. To be specific, well, the few corners that I haven't done. That's one, that's two. This is actually all that I, I need to do. Saw off four pieces, basically. That is also the reason why I brought my saw. And by the way, you can check out this last vlog. It's quite a while ago since I did it. And again, I was like, oh yeah, I would just only go for 90% of the work for whatever reason and just finish this another time. Like that was so stupid, like why? Because as you can see, pretty much everything else, every like area is done except these two. That's so dumb, that's stupid. But hey, today's the day where I'm gonna fix it. Now, the reason why was because of math problems, basically. Oh, it hurts. When you have a corner, a corner like this, you need to cut the cable canals with a 45 degrees angle and I wasn't sure what this is. This is not a 90 degree corner. So I basically gave up because math. But when I thought about it for like 10 seconds, I realized that these are just two corners with 45 degrees, basically half. I had to cut it 45 degrees. Now I need to cut it 27.5. Let's just try. 27.5. Is it really that easy? <sighs> it's gonna be loud. Is it actually that easy? Oh no! <laughs> Oh, no, it's not that easy. No, 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 no. What the hell? I knew this was gonna be a pain in the butt. No, oh, this is more like it. Oh, yes. Look at this. Let me just do the other ones and I will see you in a bit. <laughs> I just realized that 45 divided by two is not 27.5, it's 22.5. Freaking math. Oh my God, this is so embarrassing. And there is even a notch. There is even a freaking notch on the mitre. So check this out. Boom, snaps in place. 22.5. I'm so stupid. <laughs> Alrighty, check it out. I'm done. Now this gap right here, this is clearly unacceptable. This one is way better a slight gap. The idea would be to maybe 3D print something like a cover for all the corners and gaps actually, but that is definitely a plan for the future. Now this was a work of around 10 minutes or 15 minutes and it goes to show that that was stupid. I shall not do this any longer. I shall not do this anymore. Go for only like half the work. This was so unnecessary. It would have taken 10 to 15 minutes back then. But nope, I had to bring the saw again and clean up everything again and like why? But anyways, now that the cable canals are done, I'm actually ready to mount these power supplies right here. Well, I'm actually able to put cables into the cable canals and then it would make sense to mount these power supplies and the place for them would be right here in the hallway down here and the path of the cable would be right here right here right here then all around the door to this device around the door and from here through this wall this wall into the living room and then alongside the outer walls alongside here and around here and here and here and here and here maybe go through the kitchen and then come back here go around here and then back into the cable canal and go Full circle. 8 volts for Arduino applica applications and 12 volts for stepper motors and stuff like that. It's not really necessary to go through the living room for now. All I need is actually the hallway. I need electricity in the hallway for the door lock and for this other door opening device. Because as of now, I'm still using these two power supplies right here. Two little power bricks. Kind of stupid, like cable management. Nope, not even once. It sucks. So these are the next plans, basically. So yeah, that's enough progress for today. Smash that like button away. I need to smash a few little holes through this wall and connect this power outlet to the power supplies. <laughs> Bang the bell like crap.
to never miss home improvement vlogs, check the recent news on chrisfiber.com. And yeah, that's it for today. I will see you tomorrow.